Now we're going to remove the wheel, use a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts out. When I get to the last one, I'm going to hold the wheel, take it off, grab the wheel, and slide it off. Using some needle nose pliers, I'm going to grab the pad wear sensor. Just grab it and slide it out. Sometimes the clip stays in the brake pads, so you want to pull that out as well. If you're reusing this, just put that back on. Where the bleeder is, you want to take this cover off. You can just use the needle nose pliers. Slide that off and out of the way. We're going to loosen up the caliper bolts. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And if the pin starts spinning, you can use some pliers, or if you have a wrench that fits on there, and hold that from spinning, and take the bolts out. And using a screwdriver, I'm just going to pry this over a little bit. Slide the caliper off, and you want to use a brake caliper hanger and just attach it to the coil spring. Set that aside. Now we're going to loosen up these caliper bracket bolts. Use a 16 millimeter socket. and slide the bracket off. Right here, there should be a screw to take the rotor off. You're gonna need a T30 socket. Take that screw out, and you can grab the rotor and slide it off. You wanna take a wire brush and just clean up the hub surface a little bit. Get any, any of the corrosion off. You don't wanna to take too much of the hub surface off if you're using a die grinder. Just clean it up. Now we're going to clean up the brake caliper bracket. Just take a pocket screwdriver, take these old slide clips off. Use a wire brush and just clean up some of the corrosion. Take a little brake caliper grease, just give a thin coat. Put the new clip on. And another thin coat of grease. And do the same on the other side. Now pull the caliper slide pins out. Use a little brake parts cleaner and a rag. Wet those off. If it's really badly corroded, you want to get in there with a wire brush and some brake parts cleaner. Put some new grease on it. And slide it back in. Make sure the boot seals. Do the same on the other one. Now we'll just clean up the rotor with some brake parts cleaner. Clean the back side. Wipe it down with a rag. Turn it over and clean the front side. Wipe it down.
take the bracket, line it up, put the bolts in. Get those started. And we'll torque those bolts to 81 foot pounds. Brake pads on. Now I'll grab the caliper off the hanger. And you want a brake caliper compressing tool. Put the tool in there. And then compress the caliper. Go nice and slow. As you press the piston in, it's going to push brake fluid through the hoses through the lines back up into the master cylinder. All right, that's all the way down. Slide that off. Now slide the caliper over the brake pads. Take the bolts for the caliper, get those started. And tighten these up. Then we're going to torque those to 26 foot pounds. You want to line that up into the brake pad, push it on, and lock it in place. And press that on. And put the wheel on. Come on. Right. Put the lug bolts in. Get those started. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 110 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. Now nice and slow, pump the brake pedal. There's going to be an air gap in, in between the brake pads and the caliper. Nice and slow. Once you start feeling the pedal come back, then you should be good. And over here under the hood, you want to check the brake fluid level and adjust accordingly. <laughs> 